Hello everybody, what's going on? Jerome here, and just as I promised you guys, at 500 likes, I would do a face cam for Burrito Bison, and you guys hit around like 650, 700, so I thought that was awesome. So I figured I'd keep that up. If you guys can get me another 500 likes, I'll do another face cam tomorrow, and we'll keep on going from there. But without further ado, let's get on with this. So we've got a little bit, what's that, like $30,000 to spend? Alright, let's spend it on some... No, we'll go... Look oh, how bounciness. Now we're going to bounce like a motherfucker. Every time we hit one of those gummy bears, I swear to God. And by the way, ever since we beat the game, I tried it out, we got a badass little timer at the top. Look how cute he is. Oh, isn't he a cute luchador? Okay. No. Come on. Uh, oh, fuck. Really? Hit a cop. Okay, there we go. We're doing good. We're doing... Holy shit. We slammed through that door so quickly. This is ridiculous. Oh, my God. Come on. Come on. Uh, hang glide to the top, motherfucker. No. Oh, yeah. Wow. We just got a ton of money from them. We got like a thousand dollars, literally, just because we touched the roof of the map. I don't know what it is. I like the timer and I dislike it. It makes me think I'm running against the clock, even though it's just, it's all about just trying to tell how long you've lasted in the air. But it doesn't make a difference, because if you slam through to the other side of the wall, it just GG's you, and then that's it. So it doesn't even matter. It's so sad. But I might actually end up, if I don't beat this, if I beat this game soon, I'm just going to end up playing Burrito Bison Revenge anyway, so GG. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, look at that ass. Look at that. I gotta check. There's like one or two achievements we haven't. Oh, baby, look at that! Two rockets in a row. Hold, oh, hold on my dick. Look at that. Oh man. I actually have the slightest clue we're gonna get that one achievement for just going super fast. It's called. I I don't know what speed this game expects you to go at, but whatever it is, it should not be a thing. Oh fucking cop. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. oh look at that ass. Perfect. Perfect. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's amazing. We can keep going. We can keep going forever. Oh, God, we're only at half speed now. No, please. Please don't kill me. Please, por que, senor? Oh, really? We hit the wall already? Well, that blows. All right, let's see what we got here, then. $20,000 to spare. Get the rockets. Oh, we can't afford anything. Well, that's cool, I guess. Yeah, all we have left is the pants on fire achievement and the, uh, whatever it's called. Break the fucking sound barrier as fast as you can go. Come on. Come on, Mr. Luchador. You got this for me. Please. Please don't give up. I'm, I'm not gonna cheap. I'm just gonna keep looking. I also found out if you didn't know, look at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. That pant pair of pants right there actually tells you your speed. Isn't that awesome? Like I had no clue until someone pointed it out to me. That tells you the speed at which you're going at. So it's kind of pretty cool. And I found out what the bubble's good for. Apparently, when you blow the bubble, you actually go a shit ton faster. That's what it helps. It gives you a little bit of height, but a lot of a lot a lot of speed if you catch my drift. Oh come on, pogo perfect. I need a perfect pogo. Oh, that was... I botched every one of those fuckers. Oh, well. Ah, didn't botch the rocket. There we go. Oh, that was beautiful. Holy shit, we got a bubble, too? Went straight out of the rocket to the bubble? I like it. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're definitely getting... We're definitely... Oh, really? Two cops in a row? That's a day runner. Three cops? That... I don't even know how my guy's still standing. That is just ridiculous bad luck right there. If we hit one more, I'm pretty sure that's GG no re. Come on. Don't let it happen like that, please. Oh, yeah, there we go, grabbing Mr. Pepper. We need that so we can unlock some more rocket slabs. Uh, oh, look at that, and we just got our big rocket. We're getting some speed again, then. And someone told me, you need to get three-quarter speed to break through that wall at the end there, so that's going to be our goal, to get three-quarter speed so we can try and beat the game again. I think that'd be a pretty good goal. Oh, come on, little buddy. Come on, little buddy. You got this. Uh, oh, look at that. Come on, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Oh, oh, we're over three-quarter speed. If the person was telling the truth, really, we hit a cop at the wrong-ass time. I was going to say, oh, my God. Oh, we're really close to three-quarter speed now. If the guy was telling the truth, we can do this. Oh, we were like an inch short. You couldn't just give it to us, game. Come on. I get resistance. Uh, or I could get that. Or I could get a better slam. Oh, rocket slam. I want, I want the ability to slam people one more time. I actually can't even imagine this game with another rocket. Like, that is too many. I get six rockets now? Like, what the hell would I need six rockets? I feel like you'd be the worst in the world. I actually tried letting it run, like, no hands, see how far I could go, and I managed to break through the first door and almost through the second one. That's how crazy this game is. Like, after you get your stats, you're straight through the roof, I swear. Oh, baby, look at that. 
Also, guys, I want to let you in on a little secret if you're Swords and Sandals fans. I only asked for a 1,000 likes for a 30-minute part, and you guys managed to get on Swords and Sandals 1,500 likes. So if everyone seems to like it, if I see in the comment section if you hear that they like it, then tonight's video when I go and film it for Swords and Sandals will be face cam for 30 minutes long. Because I figured, you know, if I asked for a 1,000 and you guys got me 1,500 likes, I feel like I should do something a little more. Because I feel like that, that's just, you know, the nice thing to do. Good guy, Jerome. Let's leave it at that. Oh god, here we go. Sorry about that, guys. I had to go do take care of something. Oh, come on. Come on. We got this. I missed. I completely did. I just botched that completely. I was aiming for that big bubble to hopefully get some speed. I think I think we're fucked. Oh god, no, 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 no. Oh, thank god we hopped over that cop. No, uh, really? Literally, we've missed every single good possible thing that can happen. Sorry about that, guys. We are back, and oh, that was a horrible start. Holy shit. <laughs> maybe, maybe I should just go back and just pretend like that didn't happen right there, because that was a horrible-ass start. Alright, let's see. Oh. Hang gliders the roof. This game right now, honestly, I feel like anyone listening would probably have no clue what was going on if they just closed their eyes. This game makes no sense at all. I, I just realized, actually, we're a fucking luchador getting slingshotted into Candyland and squishing gummy bears. What the fuck are we doing with our lives here? Okay, whatever. That's okay. <laughs> I'm not the one watching. No, I'm just kidding around. I actually do love making these videos, though. That's the funny thing. The crazier the Flash Player game, the more fun it is. That's just that's just how it is. You will quickly learn that if you're big on Flash Player games like me. The stupider it is, the better. And that, that, that has to be that way. There's nothing you can do about it. Oh, come on. We got a good start. The only shitty part about this game, I will say, is once you beat it, apparently, if you rebeat it again, you don't get any money for it. So say you have like a $20,000 run going, and you beat the game again, and it goes to like the credits or whatever, you get jack shit. And it's like, oh, okay, that's really disappointing. So hopefully that doesn't happen to us. And whoopsies, I just drove the rocket into the floor while trying to readjust myself. That was stupid. I'm an idiot. I know. I know. I'm very special. You don't have to tell me twice. Oh, look at that. Holy crap. We got really high up there. Okay, I I'm convinced, completely out of this world, that there's no chance in the world that you can get a maxed out thing like that, like, speed right there. I do not think you can max out speed for that achievement. It just, it doesn't seem possible. Like, look, we're already going so fast as it is, and we're not even close. Like, we have to hit maybe, like, five more bubbles to get up there. This might be able to break through the wall. Oh, I stand corrected. It was enough to break through the wall. Okay, GG. Hey, wait a minute. That guy lied to me. We made money for that. Uh... People are liars. I don't like when people lie to me like that. Okay. Oh, well, at least we got that. We only have one more stat to go, and then it's just all about that speed, and we can beat this game. And we'll be done with Burrito Bison. After that, if you're wondering what I'm going to do, so I'm going to switch on to another Flash Player game that I just randomly choose at, like, at whim, and then that's going to be Flash Player Mania, and then after that I'm going to do a side series for Burrito Bison Revenge, most likely. I have not checked it out yet, but it's just what I've heard, that Burrito Bison Revenge is the game for Flash Players, so... I'm going to switch over to that, and hopefully we can uh, get something rolling with that, kind of like a little side series. And I'm really sad right now. Pokemon Tower Defense is almost coming to an end. It makes me so sad inside, but that's okay. As long as, long as we still have a giant luchador that's willing to squish gummy bears out there, we're all fine. Okay, come on. Oh, look at that, right through the door. I'm glad we got that resistance. Look at that, we just slammed right through the doors if nothing happened to us. Lost no speed at all. We're too good. We're too good. But I still am scared as to why this giant-ass luch door has no back hair at all. Kind of, it kind of, of all the things in this game that scare me, it's mostly the fact that he has no back hair, as weird as that sounds. So I guess, I guess I have the weird mind of the day. I don't, I don't care what people say, that's just, that's how it is. It's all, it is, the only thing I can't get off my mind is every time he turns around, is where the fuck is his back hair? Oh, no. Wow, we're actually doing pretty good, not bad at all. Come on. Keep it up, keep it up, oh. No, oh, god dang it. Keep hitting the floor. Even though we have all that resistance, it doesn't do jack shit for when you hit the floor. That's the problem. It only helps when you hit cops. And even then, it's still a piss off. Even if it doesn't stop, like, slow you down as much, it's still a piss off. I still don't want to hit the cops in this game. Oh, look at that. I think they should make it if you smash a certain amount that they're gone from the game. Like, if you smash 500 of them, it should have, like, a super cheap where it's like, okay, cops are gone from the game. And then it's just, it's free running from there. Oh, come on. Oh, baby. Look, oh my god, we broke through the door again. That was two runs in a row where we beat the game. I wonder if we can actually beat it three times in a row. That'd be crazy. This is, I don't know. I doubt it. If we can do it, though, I think that would be the craziest thing we've ever probably done in this series, is break through that door three times in a row. That would definitely take the most skill. Oh, come on. Come on. What is this guy's name, anyway? Well, I guess if it's Burrito Bison. We'll call him Senor Bison. Senor Bison. Oh, god, come on. I don't, I don't think we're going to get this. I, I don't think... 
Actually, wait a minute. We're getting pretty fast. This could be our big run. This could be like the run where we max out the... Actually, wait. No, yeah, we already ran through the doors that we needed to. This could be the, the, the amazing run. Oh, no, never mind. There was one more door after that. Still, though, we didn't lose that much speed from it. I think this could be the run of a lifetime right here. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, we're definitely breaking through that door a third time. It's just a matter of whether or not we're going to hit that max speed now. So, come on. As long as I don't hit a cop, I'm pretty sure we're in, we're in business. Three quarters of the way. We're making it. Oh, hang glider. The hang glider just slowed me down. That's bullshit. Why in the world would I want to use a hang glider if all it does is slow me down once it starts going vertical instead of horizontal? Some old bullshit right there. Oh, hopping over. There we go. Another hang glider to fuck up my speed. Oh, look at that. Come on. Do we really have to max out the speed to get that achievement? Or is it just like somewhere really close to it? I really hope we don't have to max it out because otherwise... I don't see how, yeah, I don't think you can hit a higher speed. Whenever you get that fast, you automatically win the game. It's just a thing. Like, we've won three times in a row. Well, we got another achievement, and only one left is pants on fire. Aim at a very high speed. So we'll make this the last run of the day, probably another minute, and then we'll call this video quits, and I'll get ready to film some swords and sandals later tonight, because that's going to be crazy. A 30-minute face cammed part, I think that's going to get a little bit hectic. But that's okay. I, I love it anyway. Oh, uh, show me your moves, come on. Look at that. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Look at my muscles. My, my beautiful man muscles. No, not really. I can't tell. This luchador is a combination of pure fat and pure muscle at the same time. It scares me because I don't know which one to actually choose for him. Oh, look at that. Wait a minute. Actually, if I get another rocket, just pay attention to his facial expression. He gets a little too happy about riding a rocket. I think... I think he's taken a few dicks in his lifetime. I'm just throwing that out there. Just just take a look at the smile he gets on his face when he hops on board that rocket. Hold on. Let's see if we can grab another one in the air. I, I, I need to get this by the end so you guys can see. Cause this, this is just brutal. I, I gotta find this. Where, where is it? Come on. There's gotta be at least one more rocket before we win. Oh, I passed it by a second. Come on. Oh, there it is. There. Look, at that. look at him grunting. He's got like the weird-ass smile. He's taking it up the ass. Oh, my God. Why would they add that into the game? It took me this long to realize. Probably had two hours of in-game time. To, Oh, my God. Uh, I'm sorry. I just got a little distracted by a nice picture of something that my roommate showed me. Oh, God. And we broke through the wall for a fourth time. So I think we're going to call the video quits there. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. And the magic word is anal sex. Good night, everybody.